Welcome to Taking the Long Way Home, episode 57, Filling in the Gaps, part 2, the Tararu is in capital letters, featuring capital letters, see above, a slightly nervous tramper, aho, me and Tareo, magnificent ridgelines and views, goblin forest, mist, fog, rain, gale force, winds, a wipeout, a tramper in shock, yep, aho again, my slightly improving editing skills. Pretty buzzed right now, some serious slog is going on, back into the further reaches of the... Tararuas, I'm up at that sort of cloud level. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So we're doing some climbing here. Got myself a little scraper on the knee. Bit of a hematoma coming through. Deal with that when I get to the hut. This is the bloody view. Good lord. And I'm heading two hours this way. It's about four o'clock. This is what I face tomorrow, I think. Up that ridge, up that ridge there, and then Sawtooth. Crikey. I think that is the biggest day. Here's my accommodation for tonight. I seem to be the only person here at the moment, which is quite nice. Cook myself up some haramaika tikai, get myself into bed, prepare for that tomorrow. <laughs> It's just been steady climb. It's beyond this will be another climb to Dracophyllum Hut <coughs> and then on to Nichols Hut. Quite spectacular. And some near vertical little rock walls I've had. It's just enshrouded in mist. Oh man, I am seriously in the Tararuas. Yo, this is Gamling, commander of the armies of Rohan. According to the movies, not the books. Samwise, Frodo, Mary Pippin, Gandalf, Aragorn, Eowyn, uh, Aoma, Boromir, Faramir. You need to get your asses out here, man. I found the real Middle Earth. Far out. It's enchanted, it's ancient, slightly spooky, and it's here. Line where I'm heading, the valley over which I'm looking. That's where I'm going. I don't want to go down there, and I don't want to go down there. We're here, brother. We relish it. There's tomorrow up there. and check out what's out the rectangular upright door where I'll be going tomorrow ah it's coming dehydrated vegetables rice pasta and a tandoori chicken dehydrated tandoori chicken Nichols hut to myself cold water tank out there give myself a cold wash Got a fire cranking. <clears throat> There's going to be a bit of wind come through tomorrow, so hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to get through the first push down out of the tops. I'm about to head out from Nichols Hut. Got to say I'm feeling a little bit nervous, as I should be. That'll keep me on my toes. These are not ideal conditions, but, but this is definitely pushing me to my limit. I've never done anything like this before. I've read about it, so um, I'm about to do it. <laughs> Out of your depth, Bruce. Oh, I better not be. This is where I'm going. Tadalua's. I'm about to experience them for the first time in all their glory. See you soon. I hope. Go nearing the peak of Mount Crawford. Just a couple hundred meters to go. This blow is really starting to set in. 
I need to make this happen fairly quick and then get the descent happening or else it's not going to be very nice this is fucking out of it descending really steep descent there's nothing up there compared to have just come down up here from the summit of Mount Crawford holy shit gotta be on the game getting lashed by the wind and rain I'm gonna get down into that bush line man see I'm uh, partly in shock I took a tumble up there I took two falls but one was a tumble just after some um, summiting Mount Crawford as anyone knows who's done that and um, heading south I, uh, I I was really careful with my placement of my feet working your way down at one point I think it was my right foot just it just went from under me and I ended up I think it was felt like a shoulder all over my right shoulder and then that turned into a, a sidewards roll, like roly-poly. And I remember just a brief moment of, fuck, I'm do I've done for. Then suddenly I came to a standstill. The right hip copped a little bit of something. But uh, I think my pack saved me. But holy shit. That was fucking freaky. Now I'm down in the bush line. I'm just, oh... It still ain't over. Lots of slippery tree roots and rocks and everything here. Steep. But man, feels so much nicer than being up in that exposed uh, ridge line up there in the tops of the Tararuas. Get on with it. Oh. Quite a lovely feeling. Put your feet in some cold, clear water. Bridge over Otaki River. Just finished a slog of descent. Took one slide. Thought my left knee was going to not come out of that one too good, but it seems to be okay. Still only about halfway through my desired outcomes for today. Far out. This is brutal. I survived the Tararuas. Next week, episode 8, The South Island Begins. I had wonderful times with friends such as Carla and Greg, Shane and Lifford, Pete and Kate in Wellington. I waited out a day or two for Cyclone Geta to pass, and then it was on to Te Waipo Namu. Thanks, Free Music Archive, The Dubwegians, Sun is Shining, Frame, Dark Drone on the Wind. <laughs>